The purpose of bathing the elderly is to make the elderly clean, refresh, and comfortable, and to keep the elderly from any microorganisms and diseases. Make sure to knock three times for courtesy. Approach the patient. Introduce yourself and explain all the procedures that you will be doing with the patient. Hi, good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Vanessa. I'll be doing the total ba uh, bathing for you. Are you Mrs. Lu? Yes. First, uh, before asking the patient, uh, before asking the patient to uh, stand up, make sure that you get the, the patient vital signs and inform the patient that you'll be getting the, the blood pressure as well. I'll be doing the you uh, the vital signs. I'll be checking your temperature and uh, your blood pressure. Are you okay with that, ma'am? Yes. Before anything, you have to turn off AC and heater and make sure that the room temperature should be 37.5 or the right temperature. Mm -hmm. And make sure that there is an adequate lighting of the room. Assuming that I'm done taking the patient, uh, getting the patient the uh, temperature and blood pressure, now I'll be proceeding with the patient to assist her to go to the bathroom. Are you ready? Uh, can you able to stand up and walk, ma'am? Yes. Assist the patient to sit in position on the side of the bed. Accompany or transport client to bathroom with wheelchair if the patient can uh, sit or walk properly. And now, offer slippers. Now here's the slippers. Uh, we're going to stand up and I'll let you sit on that chair and wait for me while I'll, do, uh, I'll be preparing all the equipment for, the, for your shower bath. Rationale. Showering would, will be tiring. Using a wheelchair will conserve so much energy and will prevent the client from slipping. Before proceeding to the procedure, make sure that you have done the proper hand washing. Next, we have to prepare for all of the equipments that you will be needing throughout the procedure. So first, we have the rubber mat, uh, bath mat, and the bath blanket. Rubber mat should be placed on the shower floor and stool over the rubber mat. Bath blanket is to cover the patients after the shower. With this, it will maintain cleanliness and safety for the client. After preparing all the equipments that we will be needing to the procedure, we are now going back to the patient while the patient is sitting down on the chair outside the shower room. I am going to assist the patient now to the shower room. Hey ma'am, are you ready to take a shower now? Yes. Can you walk again please for me? Ma'am, can you stand for a little uh, little After more? going inside, make sure to have occupied or in use side. Client needs privacy while bathing, but shower door should not be locked for a better access for assisting the client. Explain and instruct precaution for safety. Mom, is it okay for you if I take off your gown? Yes. Now I'll be starting doing, uh, I'll be washing your body with the right temperature. Make sure that the temperature of the water is in, it's 37.5 degree. So the, the patient won't get hot and get burned from this, from the water. Turn on shower and adjust water temperature. Let the patient check the temperature of the water. Um, can you check the temperature for me? Is it okay for you the, the the temperature? Or you want me to lower it? Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. 
Testing the temperature prevents burns and scalding. Help the client into the shower room and sit on a chair providing necessary assistance. Falls can occur, provide safety for the client. Sitting on the chair will prevent fatigue. Now I'll be starting washing your body, raising your body. If the client is showering independently, check on the client within 10 to 15 minutes and stay close to the shower opening. Prolonged exposure to water can cause vasodilation and pooling of blood which can result to lightheadedness or dizziness. For dependent client, if the patient is unable to shower independently, stay with the client at all times. Use handheld shower. Handheld shower allows caregivers to stay dry. Now, ma'am, I'll be doing the, your hair. Can you tilt, tilt your head a little bit? Are you okay? You're not dizzy, ma'am? No. Show me that I'm done showering and washing the patient. Turn off shower, offer bath blanket to cover himself. Help client out of the shower. Assisting client out helps prevent falls. You ready to get up? Are you okay, ma'am? Yes. Ask patient to sit on the chair outside the shower room, assisting client in drying, dressing, and grooming. Help the client to the room. After taking a bath of the client or a patient, now we're going to proceed on dressing the patient, but I'll be telling the patient to sit on the edge of the bed. Can you sit, ma'am, on the edge of the bed? Place clean gown over slightly lower than the, place clean gown over and slightly lower than the used one. If the patient has a disabled arm, place the sleeve on that arm first. Sometimes patients speak of their back arm, which may only mean that it's stiffer than the other. Consider it as disabled. Put the sleeves by placing your hand through the clean gown sleeve and gather it up, then still holding it so, gently grasp the patient's hand or wrist. Still holding the gathered sleeve, use the other hand to pull the sleeve into position. Rationally, it is not necessary for patients to fumble and poke here and they're trying to find the armhole. Repeat this step with the other seat. Holding the clean gown by collar, a patient's chin slip other hand underneath the clean gown and pull the used gown off the patient. Look for personal items which may be pinned to the gown, then fold the used gown and place it in the laundry hamper. Rationality. Give particular attention to look for these articles. They might be cheap or common items but very valued to the patient. Adjust clean gown at the short shoulders and back, then fasten snaps or strings at the back and neck. Next, wash your hands or aftercare. After dressing the patient, we are now going to proceed with giving the bedpan. Make sure to check the patient's activity order and physical status to determine whether a bedpan is necessary. Assuming the I'm done with the proper hand washing and with the proper hand gloves to protect both the patient and myself and use the principle of infection control throughout the procedure. With this, make sure to raise the bed to the high position and put up the side rail on the opposite side of the bed where you plan to stand. With this, the rationale is to provide safety to the patient and convenience for the caregiver. Take the bedpan, cover the toilet tissue out of the bedside storage unit. Put the patient on bedpan using one of the following methods depending on the patient's condition and ability to assist you.
with the patient in a recumbent position and your hand under the small lumbar sacral area of the back of this for support as the patient to raise the buttocks by raising up the feet as you push the pan into the position under the patient. As the patient who is able to assume the sitting position to lift the body by pushing down with the hands and feet as you place the pan in position. Roll a more immobilized patient onto the pan. For this maneuver, elicit the patient's cooperation. Ask the patient to grasp the side rail on the opposite side of the bed across from where you are standing for stability as you roll the patient away from you in one plane. Place the pan against the patient in position. You may want to pad the pan with a towel to relieve pressure on the patient's buttocks. Now hold the pan firmly in place as you roll the patient's back. Finally, check the position of the pan. If the patient must remain flat, you may want to place a small pillow above the dead pan under the patient for support. Elevate the head of the bed to mid or high folders position if this is not contraindicated as the patient grasps the side rails. Rationale, provide position that approximates what is normal for elimination. Place the toilet tissue and call bell within patient's reach. And leave the patient. Rationale, emphasize privacy during elimination removing bed pan. After giving the bedpan to the patient, we are now going to remove the bedpan. When the patient signals, return properly. Put on clean glove for infection control. If necessary, clean genital area with toilet tissue from anterior urinary region to posterior region, rectal. Assumingly, I have done with the genital area. Rationale minimizes the change of contaminating the urinary tract with fecal microorganisms. Remove the bed pan and cover the pan. Carry the pan to the bathroom. For collect specimen, measure the urine. Note for amount, color, consistency, and odor. Empty the content into the toilet and flush. Thoroughly clean bed pan with cold water and disinfect the solution with a long-handed brush, wash, and rinse. Use paper towel for drying, then return bed pan to patient storage. Remove and dispose gloves afterwards. And give the patient a basin of warm water. Wash the cloth and towel or moist towel so that the hygiene can be carried out. After giving and removing bedpan, we are now going to proceed with collecting stool specimen. After confirming doctor's order, explain to the patient the need of stool specimen for analysis. Is that okay, ma'am? Next, I will prepare all materials and equipment that I will be needing throughout the procedure. We have the commode, ball pen, disposal gloves, and specimen bottle with the spoon. Use spatula to obtain stool specimen. Close the specimen bottle tightly. Discard remaining stool into the toilet bowl. Clean and dry the bed pan. Remove gloves, wash your hands, document procedure, and say, send labeled specimen to the laboratory with properly sealed up laboratory request form. Document procedure, send label to laboratory with properly filled up the laboratory request form. After collecting the stool specimen of the patient, I am now going to proceed with offering and removing urinals. Urine excretion for non-ambulatory male patient, urine excretion for ambulatory but no bathroom privilege. If the patient is capable to do excretion by himself or herself, but no bathroom pri privilege. Covered urinals and disposable towel must be placed at the side of the bed within patient's reach. We instruct patient regarding use. Are you able to get your own? Okay, uh, yes. 
Always provide privacy by closing curtains and doors during excretion. Ma'am, I'll be leaving you in your bath in the bathroom. I'll be waiting for you once you're done taking your urine. Return to bedside when the patient turn on signals. Can I grab the... Return to bedside when the patient turn on signals. the bed. Take covered urinals to the bathroom. Measure or obtain specimen if needed. Discard in the toilet bowl. Water first, then wash and disinfect as instructed. Return urinal to the patient bedside after. Lower portion. Give patient wet wash cloth for hand and record and report. If the patient is not capable of assisting the patient, Raise the head part of the bed to assume semi-sitting position. Rationale, in supine position, bladder will not be pressured to excrete fully. Position the patient properly. Instruct to flex both knees. Stretch both arms on the both sides of his or her body. Palm pressing mattress. Wear gloves, provide privacy, close curtains to protect self and patient. Position the urinal. Cover your urine immediately after excretion. Dump disposable towels. Dispose properly. Measure and discard content. Clean and dry your urine. Remove gloves, wash your hands, and record and report any observations. And reposition the patient to supine position. After offering and removing urinals, we are now going to proceed with collecting the urine specimen. Make sure to explain the procedure to your patient for the urine specimen and is needed upon patient's call to void. Offer clean bedpan or urinal. Emphasize how to collect midstream urine. Ambulatory patient, instruct them how to obtain specimen and non-ambulatory assist the patient using urinal or bedpan. Assumingly, I am done with the proper hand gloving. Carry the bedpan urinal to the bathroom to transfer the specimen from bedpan or urinal to specimen bottle filling two-thirds of the sterile container. Close cap tightly. Use of gloves to prevent or avoid contamination of the specimen and caregiver. Measure the remaining urine, urine for intake and output monitoring. Discard remaining urine in the toilet bowl. Clean and dry bedpan or urinal and put it in a designated case. Remove glove and wash your hands. Send specimen to laboratory with laboratory request form, completely filled up with information. Document that urine specimen has been collected. For culture and sensitivity test procedure, before obtaining urine specimen, for female, clean the outer urinary mitus of the patient with an antiseptic solution, done sterile gloves, place non-dominant hand For culture and sensitivity test procedure before obtaining urine specimen. For female, clean the outer urinary mitus of the patient with an antiseptic solution, done sterile gloves, place non-dominant ham on labia minora and gently spread to expose urinary mitus. Visualize exact location of the mitus. Using sterile hand, Pick up antiseptic solution, saturated cotton ball with a sterile forceps. Cleanse the urinary mitus with one downward stroke. 
Discord. Repeat this three times. Use forceps and dry sterile cotton buds to absorb excess antiseptic solution then assist patient in voiding. Rationale, absorbing excess antiseptic solution prevent introducing antiseptic into the urethra which could cause this discomfort and mixing with obtained specimen. For male, wear gloves with your dominant hand. Hold the penis at a 90 degree angle to the body. If the patient is not circumcised, pull back the foreskin with his hand to visualize the urethral meters. Using a pickup forcep, cleanse the urinary, urinary meters with one stroke downward from meters to the base of the penis. Discard, repeat three times. Dry with sterile cotton bud, balls and assist the patient to void. Assisting elderly on the top back. The purpose of back, back in the elderly is to make sure that the elderly or the patient will feel clean and comfortable and away from all microorganisms or diseases. Introduce yourself and explain all the procedures that you are going to do with the patient. Hi ma'am. Good afternoon. My name is Vanessa. I'll be doing the back, taking back for all of you. Can you stand up and can you walk? Be sure that the patient is allowed to take back talk. If in doubt, check the patient's chart in nursery station or the bedside. Assist patient to sit in position on the side of the bed and help the patient if needed to finish dressing in bathroom and offer slippers afterwards. Accompany or transport patient to the bathroom or let the client sit on the chair near the low. Near the top Assist the patient to the bathroom. Make sure to hang in occupied or in use sign. Clients need privacy while bathing. Explain or instruct precautions for safety. Fill the bathtub with warm water, 137.7 degrees Celsius to 40.5. Keep client covered with back blanket until tub is ready. Let the client check water temperature. Keep the client warm to prevent chills. Help client into talking to the tub to providing necessary assistance. Falls can occur, provide safety. The patient is not checking the temperature of the water of the bathtub. Now, the patient will be sitting on the bathtub. Leave the patient alone during bath, but do not leave the vicinity of the bathroom. Check on tight client on the client within 10 to 15 minutes. Be alert for any silence. Rationale, prolonged exposure to warm water may cause vasodilation and faulting of blood which can result to lightheadedness or dizziness. Mom, are you dizzy? Are you okay doing? Thank you. If bath is completed, instruct the patient to pull the drain plug, take bath blanket on the chair to cover his body, provide necessary assistance in taking the client out of the tub and sitting on the chair. Mom, can you, are you done? Can you please do me a favor, pull out the plug of the, the tub? Rationality, draining water and assisting the client getting out of the tub help prevent falls. Assist client with dressing and grooming and help client to the room.
send the patient back to the room, return to the bathroom and clean the tub, discard soil linens, and get out of the bathroom and place an occupied sign on the door for the next usage of the patient. Rationale, maintain cleanliness and good infection control practices. After that, do the aftercare, wash your hands, and record and report. First, assist the patient in a sitting position. Preparation for tablets, pills, and capsules. You have to read the label. Remove the cap and gently shake the prescribed number of tablets and capsules. Place in a medicine glass and return to the bottle to the shelf. Place the medicine glass with the tablet or capsule at the top of medication card for specific patient. For preparation of liquid medicine, read the label, shake the bottle, open the cap, and pour the medicine along unlabeled side of the bottle to the medicine glass at eye level. Rationale, to keep the bottle from getting stained with medicine, wipe the rim of the bottle with a clean piece of cloth or tissue and replace the cap at once. Then return the stock bottle to the shelf. Put the medicine glass with the medicine on the top of the medication card. And assist the patient back to the bed. <laughs> After properly preparing the medicine and reconfirming the contents of the medication card accordingly, proceed in assisting the medication nurse in the administration under his or her supervision as per institutional policy. Properly identify the patient, patient based from the medication card and state your object, objectives. Give the medicine and stay with the patient until the medicine is consumed. After care of the equipment, use putting the medicine card in its proper place as well as the medicine glass. Leave the patient comfortable. After the procedure, do the aftercare, wash your hand, and document the procedures done. Assisting patient who is able to brush teeth. The importance of brushing the teeth of the patient is to maintain a good oral hygiene. Before entering the room, knock three times for courtesy. Enter the room and introduce yourself and explain the procedure that you are going to do. I'm sorry, I'm here for giver today, and I will assist. Typically, I am not with the proper hand washing. I am going to place the articles or supplies on the overbed table. Give the patient an opportunity as often as time permits to wash his or her teeth after he eats. Rationale, do not deprive the patient of caring for himself. Also, do not let the patient rely on caregiver. Give assistance if he or she needs, but do not perform all the procedures for him or her unless she cannot do it. Raise head of the bed to place patient in sitting position if this is allowed. Assist the patient in the sitting position. 
Rationale, placing the patient in this upright sitting position will prevent aspiration. If patient cannot sit up, he or she may be able to wash his feet anyway. Turn such patient on his left side if he or she is right-handed and supply him with the articles needed. Rationale, this position will prevent aspiration. Protect patient's gown and bed with towel. Rationale, do not spoil do not soil patient's gown and beddings for this will add discomfort to the patient. As this patient is necessary, offer help to rinse mouth. If help is not needed, leave him alone. Remove articles for cleaning when patient is finished. Rinse to brush under running water. Clean other articles and return to the patient's bedside cabinet afterwards. Discard disposals and wash your hands. Thank you.